es el primer boxeador profesional estadounidense en lograr títulos mundiales en cinco categorías. Sugar Ray Leonard, una leyenda de los cuadriláteros, quien abrió las puertas de su casa en Los Ángeles, algo que raramente hace. Lo hizo para hablar de su máxima pasión, sus inicios dentro del pugilismo, el orgullo de ser representante olímpico y, por supuesto, de sus más difíciles contrincantes. ¿Cómo compararía usted ganar una medalla de oro para Estados Unidos y un título mundial? No comparación. The gold medal meant as much because it wasn't about money, it wasn't about fame. It was about representing myself and my country and my hometown, Palmer Park, Maryland. Leonard es sin lugar a dudas uno de los atletas más importantes de la historia y uno del grupo conocido como los cuatro fabulosos del pugilismo, que incluye a Tommy Hearns, Marvin Hagler y por supuesto el panameño Roberto Durán, con quien protagonizó tres grandes combates. Tommy Hearns, uh, who had me beaten uh, in 13 rounds uh, back in 1981, I wanted to be great, so I came back. Even though my left eye was shut, I came back to win. With Hagler, Hagler was a sense of defiance. I beat Hagler coming back from a five-year retirement plan, and that was about heart and, and, and strategy. Roberto Duran taught me so much because he made me understand that boxing is also here too. It's more cerebral because he took advantage of me the first, the first fight, 1980, June. I came back six months later to beat him uh, in New Orleans. Esa derrota en contra de Duran, aún le molesta hoy en día? It did, it's a little bit, now that you brought it up. <laughs> But it does, it, it has bothered me because I shouldn't have lost that fight. I should have been smarter, I should have been more economical, I should have been faster. But Roberto Duran was muy inteligente. Luego de retirarse varias veces y de ser exaltado al Salón Internacional de la Fama del Boxeo, el 1 de marzo de 1997, Sugar Ray Leonard perdió su última pelea por nocaut técnico en el quinto asalto frente a Héctor Macho Camacho, quien este año será exaltado al Salón de los Inmortales del Boxeo. I love, I love uh, Hector Macho Camacho, and I couldn't believe the speed of this, of this guy and and his, his beauty, and he was nice, and he was handsome, and he, was, he would talk trash, and he's missed. He's really missed because he was so amazing. As far as him beating me, uh, my last fight, uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's change the subject. Let's change Vamos a cambiar el tema. <laughs> no más. El boxeo es realmente como la vida. All is just like life. Pop, you get knocked down, you get back up. You, you want, you need better advice, you, 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 you talk to your corner. Everything that makes you win in the ring, makes you win outside the ring. Boxing made me a better man, a better father, a better husband. Boxing made me who I am today. Thank you so much, Mr. Leonard. A pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.